What's up, homies? Give me a minute to uh, bring up the live stream. Oh, dang, damn it. There it is right there. It'll go to it. What the hell is everybody up to? What you smoking on today, homies? <clears throat> you on the watch page. Make sure this is on mute. Pause the video. And we are good. What the hell is everybody up to? What you smoking on, homies? I can eat too, so. <laughs> Yo, homie, how are you? Rick and Morty up in this bitch? Hold on, let me pause this video. I don't know why it started again. I hate seeing myself in this damn thing right here and uh, trying to talk to y'all or whatever, man. Because you can tell, like, if. Uh, a YouTuber or whatever you uh, like or whatever, it's like all the time, like looking at theirself in the fucking little uh, flip thing, little viewfinder thing. What's up there, that SpongeBob joint was lit as fuck. Great job on your joint rolling skills. Hell yeah, homie. Fucking shit was awesome. And I rolled up a, uh, I don't know if y'all can see that shit or not, a twaxed out of 10 gram joint or whatever. This is what's left from whenever I, uh, made like a full video on my GoPro and now we're gonna spark that bitch up here in a second fire it back up and get the smoking on again man but here's the uh, winning piece right here the Spongebob joint this shit's badass man got a little plankton up there you got Gary you got the uh, spatula and it's a little blunt right there filled up. You can smoke them too. But hell yeah, man. That thing's badass. Well, like I said, I have a uh, full video on this Twax joint. I'm about to spark back up, but hold on one second. I'm going to go over here and get my drink real quick just because I forgot it. I was about to die whenever I was making that video, man. Whew. I was smoking this damn thing just a little bit ago on a uh, video on my GoPro or whatever. And whenever I take videos on my GoPro for like regular videos or whatever, I know y'all can hear that fucking fan or whatever going right now. And I usually, I cut that bitch off whenever I'm making uh, regular videos just so it ain't loud as hell. You can hear me and shit like that. And oh my God, it was so fucking hot, dude. I was over here sweating. I actually have a fucking... I ain't got over here no more. I had a towel, man, just so the uh, twax, the uh, shatter wouldn't spill on me, and because I was wiping my damn face off because it was so fucking hot. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fire this sucker back up. Uh, Antonio Lopez, what happened to all your subs? Well, man, I got fucking, uh, I got deleted off YouTube, then I made another channel. Then within about three months, I had about 5,000 subscribers, almost 6,000. Then I got deleted again. So this is the third channel right uh, now that I'm working with, man. Hopefully this one don't get fucked up or nothing like that. Uh, I don't see how the hell they gave all those other people's channels back when I had the exact same stuff on mine, man. What the hell's up with that? But Oh, we're starting over, moving on to bigger and better things, getting into that job and shit man one of my first uh for being rolling those crazy ass from two weeks man and already won my first little competition thing so that shit's pretty good to be man once i started rolling this thing about like on the uh 14th of august is when i very first started it but this is the first thing that i I actually started uh, rolling or whatever, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't even, um, uh, I didn't even know if I could do this shit, you know what I'm saying? So I was just fucking around with that, but it came out fucking perfect, just how I envisioned every bit of it. Uh-oh, old girl said hubby. 
What's up, Cassidy Marks? I'll put some marks on you. No, I'm just <laughs> The only marks I'll put on you, baby, is when I'm hitting that shit from the back and I'll pull this long deck out and I'll just give you a couple little spankings with that paddle board. <laughs> what up, squad? What's up, H Boogie? And hell yeah, homies, thank you so much for everybody that came out and uh, supported me and the homie. Uh, it's kind of one-sided, though, because it's just like, if you got followers, man, and you put that shit up on your Instagram or whatever and tell people to go uh, vote or whatever, you know pretty much they're going to vote for you, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I tell y'all to go vote for just whichever one fucking uh, you actually like, man. It don't matter if you fucking watch me and shit like that, but if the other homie has something good, vote for him, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to matter to me. But I will know it was you. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but, uh, hell yeah, man. That shit was cool as hell. But like I said, it's kind of weird because I have 16,000-something followers on Instagram. And the homie had about 300, you know what I'm saying? So if he told his people, only a couple's going to come in there, man. So it's kind of one-sided, like on that little uh, thing right there. So I don't know, man. That was just kind of... Like I was... My plan was not to tell nobody none of y'all and just see how it worked out with just uh just um letting the people on that uh national joint league everybody that just follows that vote not even telling nobody on my page or anything like that just so it could be a little more fair but like i said the uh national joint league people wanted me to put it up on my page just so i guess uh more people would come from my page to over there and check out their shit and stuff like that so i did it man but we took it with a landslide last time i looked was about 280 something votes and I had, I'm going to say about 250. He had about 30-something, I think. I don't to talk the damn thing out. Ooh, it's running like hell from that shit. That's what it was meant to do whenever I, uh... I tried to coat the damn shatter all over it man because i heated some up in a uh, little shot glass or whatever and then just poured it on it and then got my dabber and uh like <clears throat> just fucking covered it all completely with it oh yeah it's going down what happened with the spongebob joint oh shit i still have it homie gotta be careful with it though so i don't mess it up that's the old spongebob joint that won the uh joint rolling competition up under the hat is the filter. I touched that fucking twax joint, man. I got this shit all over my damn finger now. Can't let that shit go to waste, though, boy. But hell yeah, man. This is the uh, SpongeBob joint. All the little digits come off on individual um, uh, joints or whatever. The hat comes off. And the OG tip right there. You can smoke each individual arm separate. You can pop Gary off, smoke him, that's the little filter. You can pop uh, Plankton off, I don't know if you can see that, but he's got a filter on the bottom of him. You can smoke that little blunt, it's got Bud in it. I don't know if you can see that. Then the uh, spatula, you might not be able to see that. But yeah, you can see that spatula's filled up with Bud too, so you can smoke that. You can smoke everything on this shit, man, it's crazy as hell. Think about smoking ass uh, artwork and shit like that, man. They gonna call me uh, Vincent Van Dabber or some shit for a long <laughs> Dabba Van Gogh. <laughs> or what's the cra what's the crazy one that cut off his fucking ear? Is it that one? Yeah, that's the one I want to be the crazy one. <laughs> Like hell, that. Get some drink. Let me move old SpongeBob out of the way before I fucking hit it with some shit or something. Van Gogh. Somebody cut their ear off. Yeah, man. Fucking, uh, I think it wasn't it Vincent Van Gogh that cut his ear off and sent it to his ex girlfriend or some weird shit like that. I'm like, damn, dude. He's like, this so I can't hear you bitching no more. <laughs> we boy that goddamn. 
That motherfucker getting a little harsh down there at the bottom now. Getting more airflow, but God, it is getting wet as fuck down there. It's like making the joint paper like one of those, uh, one of those see-through papers or whatever. Uh, I love the scorpion. Hell yeah, just wait till you see the, uh, the, um, tarantula idea I got, man. That shit's gonna be crazy as hell. Hopefully it'll be better than the scorpion. I wanna make it, I wanna get to where I can make shit to where you can't even tell if it's a joint or if it's fucking, uh, real or not. You know what I'm saying? If you can get that, then that's fucking perfect, man. And I think with the SpongeBob thing, I'm getting there pretty good because I don't even think if you saw this sitting right here, you wouldn't think that shit was a damn joint, man. You just think it was like some kind of little, uh, I don't know, paper mache statue or some shit like that. I, mean, I think I molded the face almost exactly perfect, dude. About as perfect as I can get it, though, for real. But I definitely want to try to make, uh, or not try, I'm going to make uh, Patrick Starr, Squidward, Sandy Cheeks for old Cletus's baby. <laughs> and my hands are just, like, covered in this shit now. And it's starting to... Oh, damn, that's why I keep getting it on my freaking finger, man. It's, like, melting, and it's down on the filter part now damn bro that's a thick ass joint man I'm just cause I don't got no weed damn homie you ain't got no fucking bud hold up bro I got you everyone should hit up on the dabble squad on snapchat hell yeah man that's where y'all can find out whenever I uh, right whenever a video is coming out or you can subscribe to me on here but Right whenever a video comes out, man, I put some shit on my uh, Snapchat and give a uh, link every time. That damn thing back going. Have you ever thought about growing out a beard? Mike Oxner, man, I'm going to look definitely homeless then, boy. <laughs> I could grow one out, but it ain't gonna be like, like fucking super full, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna look like fucking Joe Dirt or some shit. <laughs> I got you on Instagram. Hell yeah, man. If y'all want to hit me up on Instagram, it's Yo Dabba Dabba uh, 420, and that's where I usually do uh, most of my pictures, joint pictures, stuff like that. Like, on um, here. Some of the stuff, oh yeah, and then I forgot to tell y'all, one thing that I don't like about that um, joint league thing is, man, that I have to keep everything secret, you know what I'm saying? Like if I rolled something, I can't put, bust out a picture of it, put it on my Instagram whenever I make it. I gotta have to keep it secret until I get a match or whatever, then I'm gonna have to bust it out whenever, you know what I'm saying? Because they want everything to be secret when nobody knows anything and all that shit, man. So, I don't know, man. It's pretty cool, though, I think. But damn, this sucker is getting so freaking wet. Like you can see this side is the dry side and then it's just like so fucking wet right there. Get a haircut like mine. <laughs> what kind of cut you talking about? Like a Kim Jong-un haircut, man? What the fuck? <laughs> but they're watching this to see your See what you're making next. Hell yeah, man. That's what I said. I, uh, on the video, whenever I first sparked this shit up for, on the GoPro video or whatever, that'll be coming out probably tomorrow or the next day or some shit like that, man, because I got to go through it and edit it or whatever. But um, I was talking about some different things that I want to try to do, and then I was like, well, I better, I got I got to keep some of them secret or whatever, man. My main ones I'm going to try to bust out for the... Uh, the uh, upper league dudes, I already been looking at them, man, scaling up everybody, and I already know from my rookie match coming out with that SpongeBob, that shit looks better than everybody on their damn uh, on that page, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? If y'all want to go check it out, go to national underscore joint underscore league on Instagram or whatever, check it out. Look at all their stuff, man. I, but I swear the damn scorpion and the uh, SpongeBob beats every damn thing on there. Some of them motherfuckers will be molding stuff, you know what I'm saying? And you can tell if somebody molded some shit. Like, I'm gonna show you all. Uh, 
Like they could get like this little action figure right here. And you can see the ones that I'm talking about. Like it won't have the details like with the nose sticking out and stuff like that. It'll just be like flat. And then they'll kind of just draw the shit on there. You know what I'm saying? You can tell shit's fake as hell. But they'll get the paper and get that blunt glue. I don't know if you've ever seen a uh, joint paper. Like this little glue strip right up here at the uh, top part right here. You can buy that glue, you know what I'm saying, in like a little... Um, it comes in powder form and then you have to mix it up. I mix it up in like a little shot glass or whatever, but you can get this paper right here, wet it with that blunt glue, and mold it to this uh, fucking thing. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to cut it and do like little strips like paper mache it on there. But then once it dries, I'm thinking how they're doing it is cutting it with scissors or a scalpel or some shit, and then just uh, packing it full of bud and resealing it. And they're saying that they rolled that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Which... That's some bullshit right there, man. To even be able to do that, I think you should have a, uh, like a little, y'all know how I did with the SpongeBob thing, like showed, like, whenever I first started it, then whenever I got a little ways going on it, then, you know what I'm saying, keep progressively doing it like that, because if you're just fucking molding that shit, man, I can make anything in a fucking mold, then, you know what I'm saying, it ain't taking no damn skill, so, I don't know, man, some of the top dudes on there are molding shit, I can tell, if you look at their page and look at their things, you can tell the ones that are, uh, molding it because the form of the joint would just be like so fucking perfect man and like I said they'll uh, color the uh, features on the faces and stuff like that like you can tell with the Conor McGregor thing like the face and the nose and the ears and everything are all like real man like I actually made that shit like little Homer Simpson you can see his little bug ass eyes and his little nose his little mouth, like I made all that. That's that's not uh molded or whatever, but I don't know man, we just have to see. Yeah, I feel that's why everyone should vote for the for only the people that actually did it without molding. Hell yeah man, that's the same shit I'm thinking. Yo David, did you ever have have ever dread be a mini joint? I don't know what the hell you just said, homie. <laughs> that shit confused the fuck out of me. <laughs> Detailed as fuck. Hell yeah, thanks so much for that shit. Uh, Dabba joint, for sure. You should try to make Eric Cartman. Hell yeah, man, I've been thinking about that shit. And that's how I first noticed the, uh, the little things like that because I was looking at um somebody's thing that I was looking at I can't remember whose it was but uh they had a Cartman, Kyle, Stan and all of them and I was looking at them and they was like you know what I'm saying they was too fucking perfect and then the features and everything like it was all one cylindrical piece of uh joint paper or whatever and you could tell that shit's fake as fuck man and then just so uh if they have the toy and then the joint right beside it to show the comparison, they definitely fucking molded that shit, man. And that's what that dude did. And I was like, I was thinking about doing it there for a little bit, man. And I was like, well, if I just showed that shit on YouTube or something like that, any fucking one of y'all could mold some damn joints and stuff, man. So it's like really no skill into doing that. But I got some cool ass shit planned out for the future. Cheating as fuck. Hell yeah, man. Other than internet stuff, do you have a job? Hell yeah, I'll do landscaping every now and then. It ain't like, uh, I used to do it every single day or whatever, but now they cut back on it just because I'm making a little bit more off uh, Instagram, Snapchat. I mean, not Snap, I don't make anything off Snapchat. I mean, uh, um, Instagram and YouTube. <laughs> Got me fucked up. No real talent. Hell yeah, for real, bro. Make a joint pipe. Hell yeah, I've been thinking about that shit. I've seen a bunch of people do it, so what I would make it for was just to like show y'all and shit like that. I wouldn't be uh, entering that shit into the uh, competition or whatever. 
keep the good content coming. Hell yeah, thanks so much for that shit, homie. And if y'all hadn't already, go ahead and give the uh, video a thumbs up. There's 32 of you in here. We ain't got but damn 15. What the hell? No, just like that. Yeah, this could do it like a motherfucker now. That shit is getting hot on my mouth coming through that uh, big ass fucking filter, man. Because I had to cut up a uh, Daily High Club uh, content little page or whatever. You know that little page that y'all get where it says like all the uh, stuff that you got in that month? Big old doinks, damn right, boy. Big old big doinks and Amish or whatever uh, dude said. I'd be here for days after this joint. <laughs> Hell yeah. And just think, I've been, I've been smoking this bitch for about an hour or something now, man. I don't even fucking know how long I've been on here. 20 minutes and then it took me, I'm going to say the video I made was about 10 or 15 minutes before that. So, And then it took me a little bit to get it set up and the bitch was still uh, burning a little bit while I was doing that. I was hitting it every now and then. What up, dab a lane ball or something, homie? You could do joint rolling classes and charge each person like five bucks for a 30 minute session. That would be good hustle and people would learn cool stuff. Hell yeah, man. We could definitely do some shit like that. But you know what I'm saying? I got I, I got uh, <clears throat> money or whatever. I ain't trying to charge off of no bullshit like that. But that would be a cool like Patreon uh, little thing or whatever. We might, hey, I might do that shit for real, bro. Because I can roll just about fucking anything, man. We can roll tulip joints, cross joints. I can show you how to roll a uh, smaller scorpion joint or whatever. Just because most people ain't going to be rolling a fucking 20-something uh, gram scorpion joint. and going to be wanting to smoke that bitch. Do you watch any anime? Fuck yeah, man. That's about all I damn watch. Uh, my Hero Academia is my top one right now. Hunter x Hunter. Uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball is my favorite one out of the Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super. Um, uh, I hadn't watched Black Clover in a couple weeks. Look at that bitch back started going. About to have to put that bitch in a damn pipe, boy. God dang, it's burning my uh my mouth that smoke's coming through it's so fucking hot <laughs> oh tally from south park oh boy that'd be a good one I, I think i could make the paper like do a little uh fold kind of like that you ever watch joe yeah jojo's bizarre adventure hell yeah man i've watched that naruto watched all of that shit or um 380 special Oh, hell yeah, man. Man, you talking about a uh, 38 Special? The little uh, revolver pistol? Yeah, my papa has one of them damn things. I can make one of them. I'm actually making a double barrel shotgun right now that can, like, it can break down. Like, it'll be like this. And then the two uh, joints that are the barrel break down. I'm going to put two little, uh, little joint shotgun shells in that bitch. But whenever you smoke it, you know what I'm saying? You're going to have to smoke the two barrel joints, then smoke the, um, the uh butt of it or whatever but that shit looks badass for real made like a fucking blunderbust all kind of stuff i want to make a um a battle axe all kind of shit we can make man i can make a fucking shield and a fucking battle axe <laughs> i need i gotta get some more damn papers i need to get a uh some type of joint paper sponsorship or something dude Damn, butter from South Park would be so sick. Hell yeah, man. Y'all save all these ideas that y'all are coming up with right now, and I'm going to make a video uh, sometime this week, probably, well, what is today? Fucking Wednesday or some shit? I'm going to say maybe Friday or Saturday, I'll come out with a video, like, asking for ideas and different shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can just pour out an ass of ideas that you think would uh, be cool as fuck for me to make, man, and I'll make... Uh, you know what I'm saying? Some of them catch my eye. I'll make them. Probably eventually make all the damn ones y'all suggest, though. <laughs> that sounds badass. Super. Uh, 
Dragon Ball Heroes Episode 3 dropped today. I hadn't checked that shit out yet, man. I have to check that out for real. Do you like bones slash pipes or joints slash blunts? Uh, my favorite thing, KLPG, is a just a regular little hand pipe, man. That's my favorite thing. Mini Dabba. Oh, hell yeah, I gotta make a little mini Dabba blunt. And a fucking Bob Marley one, too, man. I think I can get the little dread type thing because of how I did the fingers on the uh, little SpongeBob joint. If I just extend those longer, man, I can have, I can make some fucking dreads or whatever. Will you do a shout out for the resin that gave, for the resin? For the, for the resin that gave the idea. Yeah, man, I'll give a shout out to the resin for the ones that gave the idea. Hell yeah, man. I'll definitely do that shit. Uh, hippie Gaming, a new to your page. That shit sounds dope as fuck. I will be here every time now. Do you do videos showing how to roll? I definitely will start doing them. I, on my old channel, the my bigger channel that got uh, took down when everybody else's shit got took down, um, I had a bunch of like, I don't know if y'all like seeing me like roll it like this or would you like the top view where you can't see me but you can see like the shit I'm doing down here. I'm thinking that's probably the better way to do it because that's how I did it uh, for the couple that I did. I had a how to roll backwards, how to roll a joint, how to roll uh, a bunch of shit. And I can show y'all how to roll the, uh, y'all ever seen the back roll or whatever? That little European shit or whatever where they'll roll the joint up and then they'll uh, light that shit with a lighter and it'll like and then light the joint up at the end. I can show you how to do that. Uh, probably do a bunch of them, man. I'm probably going to have to end up getting another phone for that shit, though. <laughs> Straight roasted my ass. Nah, man, you good, bro. I know what you was talking about. Uh, hey, man, All Might would be a cool joint. Fuck yeah, that would be... That's one of my top ones that I want to make for real, man. And I'm going to put this bitch out for right now. I'm going to probably uh, pack up a bowl here in a minute. Of some of it. Uh, you ever smoked moldy weed? Fuck yeah, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. One time my homie, uh, well, it was my uncle's friend, grew some bud. I'm talking about, this is the dude that had the uh, black demeanor shit that's my top favorite, still to this day, my favorite bud that I've ever smoked, man. And he grew that shit, so I know he has some fire ass bud. And I seen the bud before he started the curing process, which. Man, you can have the best looking bud in the fucking world. If you cure it wrong, it's going to be shitty as fuck. And it was shitty as fuck, man. I'm talking about he cured this shit out in his fucking barn or some shit. I don't know, man. I don't know how he cured that other than curing the fucking other shit that he had before that. Because it was beautiful. Smoke perfect. Oh, my God. I just My mouth just waters thinking about it now, man. But, uh... Um... I got some bud from him. He told me that it was real cheap or whatever, and I was like, fuck it, man. I get it. He said it had, it didn't got a little bit of mold on it. And I was like, oh, man, it got a little bit of mold on it, but I got like, I ain't even gonna lie, like a fucking half pound for like $200 or something, man. It was crazy as hell. And I ended up getting more because it looked fucking good as hell, but it had Gandalf's beard on it, man. I'm talking about this shit was like, y'all ever seen that stuff like down in Louisiana, the, uh, the, uh, Damn it, I can't remember what the hell they call it right now, but it's all that mossy looking shit on all the fucking trees. That's exactly like what these buds look like, man. Like, I've seen some bud that looked like cottony shit on it, but this was like, if I held the fucking nug up like this, this little beard was like dangling off of it like that, man. It was crazy as hell. I ain't never seen no shit like that. And I ain't even gonna lie to you, I plucked some of that, uh, shaved some of that beard hair off, and I didn't sell it. One of my homies sold it, but, uh, Y'all know what I'm saying, man? I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I smoked the hell out of it, too, though, man. But the one thing that I didn't like was I got some bud before and I was breaking it up. And I was looking at it, and I was like, what the fuck are these little black things? Like, there was, like, little black things. Like, I don't even think I could make a little how big it was, man. Like, it was tiny as shit. Like, I don't even know. Little or probably about two times less the size of a nerd or something like that. I say that. And I just kept finding them in the bud, and I was like, what the fuck is this? And then it, I thought about it, and I was like, this is fucking caterpillar shit all in this fucking bud, man. And it was like, it was horrible. You hit a bowl of it, and it burnt your nose so fucking bad, I guess, from the caterpillar shit and pissing. And I don't fucking know, man. I never got bud from that son bitch again, though. <laughs> Have you ever smoked Blue Dream? Hell yeah, man. I smoked Blue Dream a bunch of times. 
I stuck out with the homies on Saturday night and we been smoking and one of my friends had broken to some man's house and one of the homies got on top of the Jeep and we drove around for like 20 minutes with him on top. Oh shit, bro, that's crazy as hell. What's up, man? Just got out of a weed ticket. Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get busted or anything, man. I smoked moldy weed before it was dry, <gasps> so I moistened it with the orange peel. It got moldy, and when I ran out of blood, I smoked that shit. Fuck yeah, man. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I smoked the hell out of it. Old man's beard is what it's called. Fuck yeah, that's what it's called, bro. I was calling it damn Gandalf beard. That's what I'm gonna still call it. Some Gandalf beard on that damn thing. It was like, you shall not smoke. And I was like, man, fuck that. Move out of the way, boy, because I'm smoking that shit. <laughs> Have you any rare peepees? Have you any rare peepees? P E P E S. What is that? Peepees. I got this rare peepee for your girl now. <laughs> this motherfucker gonna stretch all the way to damn uh, Germany, Adolf. <laughs> Watching from Alabama. Hell yeah, uh, Trey Welch. What's up, Dad? What you smoking on? What's smoking on some of the, uh, the, uh, damn it, what's that shit called? I always forget what the hell my homie called this shit. Sunshine or something like that, man. Sun, some sunshine or something. I can't remember, man. But it's some fire shit. I'll have to show y'all a, uh, a, um, a video. I mean, a video or a picture or something. Ah. Damn, I was sitting on my leg. I had to move it out from front of me. Do I have any rare pipes? Uh, rare pipes? Do you have any battle toes? Nah, man, I ain't got no fucking battle toes. That'd be badass. So, probably my. This is my highest price uh, piece that I have so far. I'm gonna bring this whole damn thing over here. Comes in a pelican case. This one right here. This is a thousand two hundred dollar pipe right here. It's a little tomahawk. I don't know if y'all can see like the work in right here, man, but how it's like all bubbly and shit. It's got like a weird feel to it. It's crazy as hell. I've never seen, I don't know how the homie got uh, that like tight texture on that glass, man. It's crazy. That's a badass pipe. That's some bitch I'll scalp you to. Uh, smoke for the first time in four months. Hell yeah, boy, I bet you blasted. Kilpie G, when did you start smoking bud? Uh, you got a Gandalf pipe dabba. Not on me right here, man. It's uh, packaged up right now, right over there in a bunch of uh, boxes or whatever I have. Like, I couldn't fit everything on these damn shelves. I'm going to have to get some more shelves. And because uh, I started, like, just keeping an ass of shit on my little table right here, and that ain't good, man. I'm going to break some stuff. But, um,. I do have one Gandalf pipe. It's a glass pipe about, I'm going to say it's about this long or some shit like that. But I definitely want a uh, wooden Gandalf pipe, like badass little pipe. About to grind up some granddaddy perk. Hell yeah, becoming sentient. I always want to call you becoming sentinel. I don't know why the fuck I always want to say that shit, man. There's a battle toad on the box. No, nah, I ain't a battle toad. Is it a battle toad? That's the, his little uh, signature or whatever. Gypsy Glass. Go check him out. That's the homie that made that. Um, where did you get your posters? One of the homies asked me this uh, before on the channel, and it is Rage On. Got this for like $10. This one for $10. Got all these uh, Funko Pop. Um... Star Wars things for fucking 99 cent to 50 cent, man. You can find go on that clearance shit, boy. You can find all kind of stuff, man. I got. I don't know if y'all seen all the posters I have, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like I got so many fucking posters of shit, man, and I got them all from that website. Most of them was like a dollar. I ain't even gonna lie, man. <clears throat> but definitely go check out Rage on. Congrats on winning the joint contest. Hell yeah, thanks so much for that shit, homie.
Have you ever smoked Khalifa Kush? Hell yeah, man, it's on fire. I'll see you one way to go, Dabba. Hell yeah, thanks so much for that shit, bro. Hybrid Dabba Squad. <laughs> uh, I'd sub. Hippie Gaming is Rage On. Like, R A G E O N. Do you ever go to the other room to make videos? Uh, you talking about the room that I used to make them in, my little uh, um, laundry room or whatever? Yeah, I haven't. Uh, I smoke in there every fucking day, man. I don't smoke right here in this little spot. This is my just my video spot. That spot that I used to make videos at is my normal little smoke spot that I'm sitting. I just be sitting there watching YouTube videos, uh, just thinking about the next video I'm going to make, man. Hippie gaming, hell yeah, man. Uh, Zach Murray ever had a pregnancy scare? Fuck yeah, man! A bunch of damn times, shit sucked ass. I was about to pay somebody to fal uh, falcon punch her or uh, push her down a big old flight of stairs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hell yeah, man! Um, I definitely had that shit a bunch of times before, and it sucks ass, man. Every time you have it, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. Uh, the top thing that's gonna be happening. Either the girl thinks you're about to break up with them and she's fucking lying about that shit just to get you to uh, stay with her or whatever. So whenever she sends you a fucking pregnancy test with that shit saying positive on it, she probably got that shit off the internet, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what you gotta do? You go to a fucking store. Don't go buy. This is real shit right now. Don't go buy one of them fucking little cheap ass fucking... Uh, pregnancy test now you go buy the top dollar one and you take that shit over there to her and you stand there while she pisses on that damn thing just so you can make fucking sure that she is man and if she is fuck man you better get you about five hundred dollars up for a damn abortion or just fucking grab your damn ball sack man up and shit you did it man that's your damn baby <laughs> i wouldn't do the damn abortion thing never did that so if the girl actually had the shit, I would uh, have it, you know what I'm saying? 34 watching, only 27 likes. Hit the thumbs up, homies, for that. But hell yeah, thanks so much for that shit, Josh406. 406? 406? Yeah, 406. Ever almost got caught by the police? Hell yeah, man, a bunch of fucking times. Definitely when uh, I used to skateboard all the fucking time. I don't skateboard too, like, that much now. I just go out there and do some tricks every now and then. But, um... We used to skateboard downtown and all kind of shit like that, man. Be having to run from the fucking police like every time. Uh, any Bigfoot encounters? Um, any Bigfoot encounters? I've seen some weird shit in the woods. I ain't gonna lie, man. My fucking uncle is all the two, both my uncles on my mom's side is all the time talking about fucking Bigfoot and shit, man. My one uncle's showing me shit all the time. And I'm like, clearly that's fake, man. I can tell that's fake as hell. <laughs> but hell yeah man uh, Grandpa Dad was always talking about Wanting to go on like a Bigfoot uh, Expedition like thing And make uh, videos and stuff Which would be pretty fucking cool I think We'll be smoking like hell Just walking through the woods Looking for some fucking Bigfoot Oh my little uh, My um homie's little kid or whatever Watched uh Finding Bigfoot or whatever that fake ass bullshit is. Like I swear, man, I watched that shit one time and a big ass dude, Bobo, said he had the Bigfoot on the fucking night vision or thermal uh, flare camera or whatever. Then he busted his ass and fell in the damn thing ran away. If you did that and you was on my fucking show, your ass is fired. Get the fuck off. We was about to find Bigfoot and be rich as hell and your fuck fat ass fell. Get the hell out of here, motherfucker. But, uh, like I said, my fucking... Uh, homie's little kid will go out there on the front porch and he's like, can I call up Bigfoot? And he'll be like, yeah, man, go out there and do it. He'll go on the front porch and just be like, oh, like I ain't gonna do it now because people's asleep, but y'all know what I'm talking about. You just do that shit loud as hell out there. <coughs> I got eight G's of lemon kush or 60 bucks. Oh, four sixty bucks. Is that good? Hell yeah, man. I say that shit's good. Definitely. If you're, it depends on if you're in a Illegal state or legal state? If you're in an illegal state, I say that's pretty damn good, man. Cause shit, down south, I know motherfuckers that'll sell a damn quarter for a hundred and something fucking dollars. Shit's crazy. Uh, Dabby, you hear that MGK diss on Eminem? It's about to go down. Hell yeah, Eminem is about to come back with some crazy ass shit for real, man. Probably, I'm ready to see that. 
Uh, this GDP smells heavenly. Fuck yeah, it always does. I hate, I hate edibles. I hate two, and they don't work. Shit, man. Edibles will put me on my fucking ass. I'm talking about I had these little square little gummies like this big, and I ate one. And I'm talking about I got so fucked up that I kept thinking there was somebody behind me looking at me. I kept like, I'll be playing the video game and like, man, what the fuck? I, so I just kept looking behind me like every couple minutes, like thinking there was somebody standing there. <laughs> uh, about to smoke a big bowl out my biggest bone. Through my nose, cheers. Hell yeah, homie. I don't know if I, I don't know if I had that nose hit video up on here. I have to re put it up if I don't. I get about 10 grams in Ohio. Typically pretty fire. Hell yeah, homie. Damn man, I don't know what the hell happens to my finger sometimes. I got that bitch crushed one time and I didn't go to the doctor because right, I got my finger crushed by the damn door by my homie's little kid and uh, like it, my finger was flat and it crushed my fingernail and my fingernail came completely off so it was like squishy up under there man and it hurt so fucking bad like I couldn't even put my hand in my pocket because the fingertip right there was like so damn sensitive and um, uh, my fucking grandma's funeral was like the next day after that or something, man. And I was just like, fuck it. I ain't even going to the damn doctor or nothing like that. So my finger will come out. I don't know if y'all just heard that right then, but my finger just went back into, uh, I got this and my finger will like bust back in the socket. I don't know what the hell's up with it, man. Love the intro. Hell yeah, thanks so much for that shit, homie. I live in an illegal state and hell yeah, that's a good ass price. For real, I never pay more than 10 a G. Hell yeah, if you're getting it for 10 a G in a uh, illegal state or whatever, that's pretty fucking good, man. Edibles never really phase me that much. I don't get high, but I get high, but never too blasted. Well, I'll tell you what you do, boy. Make sure you don't fucking eat nothing, then eat you some of them damn edibles. And it, I guess it depends on what type of edible you're eating. Uh, get a uh, candy type edible that'll Anything that's like candy or gummy or something like that will dissolve way faster than the, uh, like, you get like a cake or some bullshit like that, you know what I'm saying? It's got a little bit of food product in it, so it's going to, um, I think it absorbs a little bit of it, man, in my opinion. I would eat that shit, uh, empty stomach. Your stomach's probably like, <laughs> Have you ever made homemade dab? Fuck yeah, man. That's how I started out on YouTube, just making all kind of crazy ass little bongs and stuff, man. Like, here's one right here, the, uh, what do we call that shit? The Dabba Dangler 3000 or something, man. I had that shit rigged up with, like, so many ash catchers on it. How hard is it to get dreads? Uh, just don't fucking brush your hair and you can get them. Nah, <laughs> you can get them like that for real, though, but, uh... <clears throat> You're gonna have to get somebody to uh, section your hair, like with a little checkerboard, little pattern or whatever, and then um, you're gonna have to get a comb, preferably like a dog metal comb or whatever. Cause you know what I'm saying, if you use a plastic one, that bitch is gonna break so easy. You're gonna have to get a metal one and uh, just like get the strand of hair that you sectioned off and just start doing the comb back like this, and it'll just create all kind of fucking knots, man. That's how I did mine. And then eventually, sorry about that. And then eventually, over time, they'll just uh, like mature for a while. They're gonna look loose and fucking freezy as shit. You're gonna look homeless like a motherfucker. But eventually, they'll uh, like tighten up and be like rope, kind of like how mine look now. I pay 15 for two G's. Hell yeah, homie, you getting it for about 7.50? Oh shit, I just found a little tray of weed under my chair. Fuck yeah, bro, smoke that shit up. But, uh, hell yeah, homies, I guess I'm about to get out of here real quick. Go ahead and edit out this, uh, video, uh, smoking the full joint or whatever whenever I fired up and shit. But, hell yeah, homies, thanks so much for everybody that came and supported me for the, um, little joint off. And I'm definitely gonna need y'all's, uh, support on the upcoming battles, man, because shit's gonna be crazy as hell. I got a feeling they saw the shit that I put out, so whoever's, uh, up against me next time is gonna be trying their fucking hardest to, uh, 
bring out some crazy ass shit so just uh stay looking out for it man like i said around october november is whenever they're going to start the uh full um like little battles or whatever so <clears throat> and then uh later on this week like i said i'm gonna put out a uh, video getting suggestions for new stuff to uh make or whatever because i'm just like all the time thinking about stuff to make you know what i'm saying i see any little toy or any kind of thing like that i'm like fuck yeah i can make that but with my shit i'll have the toy usually what i do like the spongebob thing and shit like that i ain't got no damn well, i got that little bitty ass spongebob toy but with that i just looked up a uh i just look up pictures on the internet or whatever different like angles and i just make it like that you know what i'm saying i try to make it real as hell I ain't trying to be no molding ass shit but hell yeah homies uh thank you so much for everybody that came out supported all the homies voted for me um shit means a lot for real man because i like i said i know about every single one of y'all on instagram i see y'all's names on that shit because i was checking it like all the fucking time but hell yeah man thanks so much for that shit uh like i said just be looking out for the other videos to come out for the suggestions and for smoking this full uh 10 gram twax joint video but hey homies thanks so much i hope you like this video hope you're smoking awesome good hope you're having a good day oh yeah if you want to keep talking to me hit me up on instagram yo dabba dabba 420 or on snapchat yo dabba dabba later homies